Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Margillan Ulcer. A Margillan Ulcer is an aggressive and rare type of skin cancer that grows from burns, poorly healing wounds, or scars. It grows slowly, but over time it can spread to other parts of your body, including your brain, kidneys, liver, or lungs. Some of the first signs of a Margillan Ulcer are irritation and damage around an injured area. Your skin will likely itch, burn, and blister. Soon after, a new open sore will appear, filled with several hard lumps around the injured area. It looks like a flat ulcer with edges that are raised, in most cases. As the sore forms, it's also common to experience bleeding, crusting, foul-smelling pus, and severe pain. Margillan ulcers can close and reopen repeatedly. They also may continue to grow after the formation of the initial sore. It occurs more in males compared to females, and usually happens in people more than 50 years old. Margillan ulcers come from previously hurt, traumatized, and chronically inflamed skin or scar tissue. They are commonly associated with burn scars but may also result from pressure sores. These are areas of damaged skin. The damage is caused by staying in one position for too long. Pressure sores usually occur when you are bedridden or unable to move. They typically form where your bones are close to your skin, such as your ankles, elbows, heels, hips, and back. Chronic venous ulcers. These are long-lasting sores that develop on the inside of your leg, causing pain, itching, and swelling. Wounds. Wounds are any kind of damage or break in the surface of your skin. Osteomyelitis. This is an inflammation of your bones caused by infections, generally in the legs, arm, or spine. Infections can reach your bones by traveling through your bloodstream or spreading from nearby tissue. Fistulas. These are abnormal connections between two body parts, such as an organ or blood vessel and another structure. Fistulas are usually the result of an injury or surgery. Leprosy ulcers. These ulcers are infections caused by slow-growing bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae. They can affect your nerves, skin, eyes, and the lining of the nose. Amputation stumps. After a limb is removed, the part that's left beyond a healthy joint is called a residual limb, or more commonly, a stump. Skin graft. A skin graft is where healthy skin is removed from an unaffected area of your body and used to cover lost or damaged skin. Radiation-treated areas of skin. Radiation is a type of cancer treatment that uses beams of intense energy to kill cancer cells. And lastly scars. Scars are areas of tissue growth that mark a spot where your skin has healed after an injury. For investigation of a margillan ulcer, we can do a skin biopsy to rule out malignancy. Other investigations include MRI or CT scan. Treatment is usually MOS surgery. It involves removing thin layers of skin one at a time, and examining each layer under a microscope to check for cancer cells. The process continues until only cancer-free tissue remains. Other treatment are chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and might even require amputation in serious cases. For its prognosis, margillan ulcers are severe and in some cases, may lead to death. Your prognosis depends on how aggressive your cancer is and how much it has spread. The five-year survival rate for a margillan ulcer is typically 40 to 69 percent which means 40 to 69 percent of people with a margillan ulcer remain alive five years after diagnosis it's important to keep in mind that margillan ulcers can return even after they've been removed if you've previously had a margillan ulcer make sure you follow up regularly with your doctor tell them about any changes you notice around the affected area that's all for this video thank you